Hey Jonesy Babes and Anonymous Jonesy Babes, welcome back to my channel. You're listening to Sacred Messages Part 8. The next couple of messages are from him and I'll let you know when she comes in. We are still in April 15th, 2024. Let's go ahead and get into it. Hannah came last Sunday and asked me about the bloggers, saying that there was paperwork that which needed to be submitted before they could be allowed in the courtroom, but never happened. The only hope I have now is reducing this bond until I'm indicted or not. I should have had a visit today, but nobody showed up. I'm sending a letter to Hannah's boss, Joy Walker, to see if she will come see me, being that she is a head addy. <laughs> Now, what he means is, he, the head addy is the head attorney, okay? Because I'm not getting the facts any other way. I'm sure the 407 case should have been dismissed. And if I'm not indicted by July, I'm submitting a dismissal motion. If I'm indicted, I'm filing for a speedy trial. I'm hoping you have your medical issues handled and I hope to see you on outside before your birthday I didn't speak to Dre last week but his birthday was also last week to me it's still a good thing that I had court because it revealed more lies on their behalf I have to remind myself that this is all still a complaint phase still the beginnings nothing much to be worried about as they have nothing and I also know people on YouTube wish me not to be innocent but that's just the, I guess he's trying to say bougie, but it says, but that's just the boogie black people, as you can call them. <laughs> oh, have mercy. Anyway, let's continue. So I need some more literature to occupy my mind to your birthday. Number one, Art of Seduction by Robert Greene. Number two, January issue 2024 DuPont Registry. Number three, March issue 2024 DuPont issue. Number four, May issue 2024 DuPont. He gave a name. I'm just going to say E.M. And he gave some let some some words some not words some numbers, and I guess the person and those are his numbers. This is the name and number for the person you are to send these books to. So I'm not understanding why he needs all these things. He's requesting all these things for her to send him, but he has to. She has to send it to a different person. So, yeah, I, child, whatever. All I can do now is wait until more evidence is in my favor and more scheduled bond hearings. And if more evidence is gathered prior to any hearings, we will be okay. If you speak to Melanie King, ask her if she initially from Hampton, Virginia, because those pics have yet to come. Smiley face. What does that have to do with her being from Virginia? I mean, if she is so what? Like, never mind. Anyway, so Peanut responds. It's the beginning two years, two years in. Zam, if you are out, no big deal. They want you in to force a plea. Peppermint Patty was supposed to visit but forgot her ID. The bloggers only need paperwork to film in court. Hannah don't know nothing much of nothing. <laughs> Yo, they be <laughs> they been getting on Hannah like crazy. You need an experienced lawyer that care. I hope to hold you for my birthday. These bloggers don't want you to get off because they spoke so much ish. It would make them look embarrassed to be wrong. Hateful as itches. Mm. Child. Let's run it back. <laughs> let's run it back. So. Peppermint Patty forgot her ID child. So that's why she couldn't do the visit. But honey. She always had something to say about these bloggers. 
The bloggers only need paperwork to film in court. That is true, but it's clearly Rule 22. Hannah don't know much of anything. She's they always getting on Hannah. You need an experienced lawyer that care. But he doesn't have the funds for that kind of lawyer. You get what I'm saying? Anyway, I hope to hold you for my birthday. These bloggers don't want you to get off because they spoke so they spoke so much ish. It would be embarrassing to be wrong. Hateful is biatches. Child. She is doing these bloggers so wrong. Alright, so now he's answering. Mm. You are a baby. How are you feeling today? Did the blogger see you in the courtroom? She replied, I'm better. Yesterday I had to leave the party. I felt lightheaded. I'm good. No, they didn't. I came in and crept out. They were looking, they were looking anything to talk about. I guess she meant they were looking for anything to talk about. Too worried about your life. So let me find out she's showing up at these these um court sessions and you guys not catching it nah i don't think she's going because it's impossible for anybody to miss her we all know what she looked like come on now i don't think she's i don't think she went to any of these court hearings to be honest with you she's talking about she came in and crept out so for that to happen let's just say she sat way in the back you know what i'm saying just to hear what was going on and then leave. I don't think she was there, to be honest. What you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. He said, LOL, okay. You feeling good today, smiley face. I love you so, so much. I know that you already knew that you knew that in your heart. I just like to say it to you. I'm just in my feelings about you. You know, that's all. I love you, babe, in the scariest way. I want you, baby, to stay with me. Mm, 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 mm. Anyway, she said, thank you, babe. He replied. Now, this is April 16th, 2024. Good morning, my love. Hi, babe. Smiley face. Nesto, what are you doing? He replied, just mad. Why the F I'm here for something I didn't do? Sad face, sad face. She replied, Aw, I'm mad for you. Life is going on and you're still at a standstill. Stressing the lies. It's so many corrupt females in office right now. Black women. It's not a good look. Lord Jesus. Us black folks are catching so much heat. What is going on? Us black women are catching so much heat. What is going on? <laughs> it's ridiculous. So he replied. That's the way the W man wanted to keep the black men effed. I love you, babe. So basically what he's saying is that's the way, you know, the W-H-I-T-E man made it. To keep the black men effed up. But you know what? If you wouldn't be out here doing wrong. You wouldn't be sitting in jail. You get what I'm saying? You did all this stuff. And you're sitting in jail. You did the crime. So now you have to do the time. You see how that works? Anyway. Mm-mm-mm. So then she replied, I love you more. Missing you every day, all day. He replied, sending my love to you. Have a good day. I love you. So now we in April 17th, 2024. She replied, just know every moment of every day I think about you. I'm feeling the weight of the unjustified lies placed on you. I'm here for you. Oh, God, here he come with this whole booklet. He got two booklets ahead, so be prepared, okay? This is a lot of reading. <laughs> oh, how <I> see. 
this stuff is a mess I <coughs> excuse me I had a mental crisis had to go see the doctor yesterday an anxiety attack being used to handling my own affairs opposed to having others do it for me one of the officers heard me talking to myself unbeknownst to myself shaking my head I wasn't aware I was doing it in addition, I've been texting so much. I know you dislike rereading pre previous texts I've sent, especially pertaining to the books I requested that would help preoccupy my mind away from the negativity, etc. Okay, so he had a mental crisis, guys. Let's run it back. He had a mental crisis. He said, I had a mental crisis, had to go to the doctor yesterday, and anxiety attack being used to handing my own affairs opposed to having others do it for me now one of the officers heard me talking to myself unbeknownst to myself shaking my head i wasn't aware i was doing it so he wasn't aware he was talking to himself and he had basically a mental breakdown um based you know uh, an anxiety attack he's cracking up mm -mm -mm. You know, and he'd been asking her for these books to get sent to him so it can occupy his mind. So, I also know you're not at your healthiest right now. So, also, I don't want to relive 2020 talking to you one day and the next you're being hospitalized due to stress. I wish you could figure out a way to bond me out of here, though, before you get the RV. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. So basically, he wants her to get him out before she get the RV. I wish you could figure out a way to bond me out of here, though, before you get the RV. I remember last time this year, you had planned to take a loan out on your Ohio home. But I can't mention everything We've ever we even spoke on as I know you have much on your own plate and it's not your fault. I'm here. Hmm. Nesta doesn't forget anything, huh? He remembered that she was going to take a loan out on her Ohio home. Hmm. I do know when I'm out of money will be thrown my way because they know how it will all spin around. Why do I do know when I'm out of money will be thrown my way. Because they know how it will all be spun around. Okay, we're going to go with it. Right now, you need to view me as your business versus being your man or lover. What? What? But only for now. I really have confidence that you can figure this all out with the right bonding company. I know you said you'll get the property and statements done this week. And you're getting the runaround for the small matters, which actually huge to me. And I need my Instagram off private so the new investigators can be guided to info to assist me best as possible hmm it's interesting that he said right now I need you to view me as your business versus being your man or lover but only for now child mm -mm -mm. and I need my Instagram off private so the new investigators can be guided to info to assist me best as possible. Okay. So guys, what do you think about that? The next long message. I'm not going to prison for anything I've not done. I guess he meant he's not going to prison for anything that he hasn't done. No pleas and no negotiations. 
They'll be carrying me in a bag first. Believe that when trial comes, people get taken back to Fulton County and place me in the cells with those sharing capital offenses where violence is common against those who hold charges of this nature. Today, there was coverage on the news about Fulton County lacking public defenders and the overcrowding issues, etc. But it all appears to be campaign strategy. I also never received the pics of Melanie King yet, so we can see if my people are acquainted with them. Please, 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 please come, 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 get me out of here. Renee Rockwell is a seasoned vet here in Fulton who would take payment plan agreements and <clears throat> she reputable for getting people bonds. Reach for her. Nestor is ready to get out of there, honey. He is ready to get out of there. He is ready to get out. You hear me? Okay, so now she responds. Okay, I'm working on something I can't say. Not illegal for those reading, but your bond is up there. Your page is private because they keep taking your images and running negative stories. Only thing that can help you is your mess is your messages. I don't want to jeopardize losing them. If your page gets flagged, it can you know it can lose a lot. These bloggers are messy and are playing games along with the DA. But first of all, she got to understand all the bloggers have everything they need from his page, videos, pictures, all of that stuff. So her putting it on private didn't do anything. It didn't stop nothing. But the messages that's in there, I wonder what those are. Hmm. I wonder what did she see? But let's continue. So he said, okay, you know what's best for me. Thank you, my love. I understand. You see, you see what I can't see out there. I understand. I love you. So she replied, I love you more. I don't want to control things, but I see a lot of things you don't. If someone needs to reach out, that will help if they can. But all your pages aren't private, just the main. These bloggers have ran stories on all your ex-wives, your daughters, your friend, and son. They kept running to your page to make up stories about your past. Them biatches got real mad when I took it down. <laughs> Did a story on that. It's more than what I tell you is going on. You don't need to think about it. Just your innocence. See, she knows everything that's going on. She keeps up with the news on YouTube. She keeps up with the bloggers on YouTube. Because, let me tell you something. We was talking about the page being on private. You know what I'm saying? We were talking about it. So, she... Mm, mm, mm. Crafty, honey. She is crafty. But anyway, he, con he con um, responded. You see what I can't see out there? You got me. She said, it's an evil situation. It's not slowing down. Someone puts a story out every day. He replied, damn. Okay. Man, my life is so effed up. I still don't know why they keep blogging and running stories on me like I'm a big timer. Damn. You right, baby. She replied, we will be okay. It's a lawsuit filed against DA. I'm getting you on. No one knows we are more than friends from my mouth. <coughs> Let me run that back. No one knows we are more than friends from my mouth. It's not no one's business what we are. Or are you trying to tell me something? Keep it honest. He replied, no, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to tell anything, but you love and I love you forever. I'm your man. You're my woman. 
that's okay with you. We good. Happy face. Kisses. Happy face. <sighs> so I guess he was saying, no, I'm not trying to tell you anything, but I love you. And you are my woman and I am your man forever. And we're good. But see, we already knew that. We already knew that they were just more than just friends. That we already knew that. Okay. We we saw all through that biz, that BS. We already knew that. So anyway, let's continue. So she replied, okay, don't stress. Please try. She also replied, Melanie King is from Atlanta. Was good friends with Kevin Samuel. I sent the pic. Did you get a visit today? And did she mention the page? He replied, no, baby. She didn't today. He said, I haven't spoken to anyone. I'm just focused on trying to figure out the next move. And no, Melanie is not the same person as, as I was I thought, but previous, well, obviously she knows people, so that's good. I would try not to stress because I know what's the outcome. Once I get my literature, hint, hint, LOL, the books, in other words, I'll be able to settle down. I know I will win in the end. I'm just messing, I'm just missing out on things with my grandkids. I'm sure you understand. I never speak to have me patty about my personal issues so never worry of that also i know it's a trust there due to your interview you had about me before it matters not because most important thing is you and i winning hmm. so she replied it's a lot of mobile stations excuse me mobile salons you were the first you are a master with that industry stay in that field being rich is not always happiness doing what you love and spending your time in that space is everything we get too caught up in impressing outsiders who mean nothing to us make yourself happy impress yourself love you boo so he replied Wait until you see this new ish I came up with <laughs> that no one is doing. The ish going to F them up. What? So I wonder what he got up his sleeve, honey. Understand me. Love you too, baby. And so she said, I believe you. He said, I don't have I don't have need to chase any money. It's already on the way with lawsuits, etc. But I will be getting my fire station, though. What? A fire station? I will be able to tell my story and people will flock from all over to sit and talk about me. I'm also getting the RV park for the old timers and will own that land. Don't play with me. And if there was money, I'd be out there with you. Not in here. Believe that. You're lucky I can't really talk how I want. But you have a great night lover. Child. What is he trying to say? What is he trying to say? Let's run it back one more time. I don't have the need to chase any money. It's already on the way with lawsuits etc. Okay. But I will be getting my fire station though. So what fire station is he talking about? A fire station? I will be able to tell my story and people will flock from all over to sit and talk about it. I'm also getting the RV park for the old timers and we'll own that land. Don't play with me. And if there was any money, I'll be out there with you. Not in here. Believe that. You're lucky I can't really talk how I wanna, but you have a great night lover. Mm mm mm. Popping big mess. Okay. She replied, Keep dreaming, baby. It's coming. 
I support it. Good night, my love. <laughs> Dream on. Dream on. Dream on. <laughs> Insert Aerosmith. Dream on. <laughs> Alexa, play Aerosmith. Dream on. <laughs> Dream on, dream. I can't. Okay. Now we are at April eighteenth, two thousand twenty-four. He said, "Good morning, my love." She replied, "Good morning, handsome man. I have errands to run for you today." She said, "Divorce court." May 21st at 10 a.m. She filed 4-17-24. He replied, okay. She said, bank statements ready. On my way to get them. Feel better. She stated separated since March of 2022. He replied, ultimately the loss belongs to her, not me. Oh, wait a minute. He said, ultimately, the loss belongs to her, not me. I'm quite sure her daughter put her up to it, but I'm not down, discouraged, or distraught. Sometimes or, at, or all the time, God will remove from our lives what is hazardous to us in order to move the things which are conducive in our lives. Once I'm indicted, I'll receive discovery and be able to expose her daughter for her malicious intent towards trying to sabotage me. So what he trying to say that that's Mother Strawberry's loss and not his? Because he did say ultimately the loss belongs to her, not me. No, honey, it's the other way around. It's your loss. Because remember, she was paying for your lawyer in the beginning. Right? But you were trying to shut her out. You want her to keep paying for the lawyer, but you had a peanut or in the mix. See, it doesn't work that way. Oh, this is wicked work. This is wicked work, Pigpen. This is wicked work. Talking about the loss belongs to her, not me. And I'm quite sure her daughter put her up to it. <clears throat> you don't think people get tired? What is the point of her still... Never mind, because you know what? They wasn't really married anyway, but it is what it is. And Peanut, she making sure she tell him everything. Like, she reports to him with everything that's going on. Mm -mm. Let's continue. So this is him again. This is all good because now I have no ties there and can move on with my own life which obviously I'm, I've already begun to do with you. Ooh. Ooh. On the police report, they're saying we lived together, but according to the separation date, we were separated during March 2022, which helps me prove my case against what they are alleging. So make sure you get this divorce filing on paper. It's all about my freedom right now. So she replied, yes, I got 2020 and 2021 bank statements. She's trying to get 2019. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to Apple to try to pull your messages. It says it's in iCloud 305 messages. He replied, you see anything going on in 2021, February 1st? She said, yes, you bought coffee. What time was coffee purchased and where? You know what? You know why they can't pull the 19 records up or why it's difficult? And did the dates and times match up that you discovered? Is any of it making sense to you at all? So she said, it doesn't give time, just date and place and city. Sorry, I fell asleep. You could have called. I love you. How are you feeling? He replied, I'm just, I'm good. Just wait 
waiting to get out of oh, so um we can move on with our life so he said we just he just waiting you know to get out of there which is not going to happen so they can move on with their life mm. so she replied i know the waiting game is crazy but only to make you plea the entire da office is under investigation i will see who to contact the more inmates the better I'll text Doug about getting the release and proof of payment from the landlord. It starts there. Every lie counts. April 19th, 2024. You right. I love you. Come on, my love. Someone is coming to see me at 10 this morning. I don't know who it is. Do you? She replied, Peppermint Patty. Good morning, my love. So he replied, Number one, auto seduction by Robert Green. Number two, January issue of 2024 DuPont Registry. Number three, March issue. Number four, May issue. These are the books and titles for you to, to order and send in the name of E. M and the inmates number. So if you want to know the name who is EM, I will put it down below if you ask me. Okay. But like I said before, why does he have stuff going to him and not, you know, to EM and not him? I know he could receive stuff. He could get mail, right? I don't know. It just, I don't know. I don't know how that system works. So, this is pig pen again. I see the divorce hit the internet already as Peppermint Patty attempted asked me about it, but I deny any knowledge of it. Also, she asked, how was I holding up in the circumstances and, and if I was going to contest the divorce, trying to slide little things in the conversation. However, I mostly just allow her to do the talking. <laughs> so here go peanut good i told her no conversation about the divorce or surely i said just court hearing stay strong my love i found out through her she sent me the documents you should be served in five days or less she filed on april 17th he said okay do I have to be in court for the hearing? Did you get the books? I'm getting the books today. I don't know if you will, you know, have to be there, you know, via Zoom or in person. I'll ask Hannah to come see you. That's who she will serve. I know all of this is a lot. Really look back at your life as a whole. Good and bad times. Know how you need to move going forward. Make rules for yourself and do not break them. I'm here forever. He said, okay, baby, I'll be okay. What's going on with the bank statements and iCloud messages? She said, I went to Apple. The one over here only do equipment repair. So I'm about to call the number given to get over the, the phone help. No call from the bank. She's on it, though. Okay, babes, thanks. Smiley face. So she replied, it's a no-go. I should have did this when you first got arrested. Time has been the enemy. Ugh. Damn. She said, I know. Love you. Chin up. So he asked her, so what are you doing tonight? Did you get the books today so I can get... So I can let old boy know when they are coming. Thanks, my love. She said, who am I sending to? Babysitting. Missing you. Not too much. And of course, Ernest says, EM and gave the um the number, right? I guess the, the, his, cell, his mate number or whatever you want to call it. His inmate number. I will miss you to know. I will miss you to now. You see, it's just me 
and you, life is crazy how ish is. I'm missing you too. Okay, I guess he said, I'm missing you too. You see, it's just me and you. Life is crazy how ish is, lol. And she said, we'll be okay. So this is all April 19th, 2024. I know. I love you forever. I love you forever. Oh, God. So, I'm going to stop there. And I will come back later with some more. Well, let me get myself together. And I hope you enjoy this. Because, mm, how do you guys feel about him saying that it's a loss for Shirley and not him? No, it's a big loss for him. Because Shirley was the prize. Okay. She had, you know, things going on, but she was the prize. She was a classy woman. She had a good job, which she still does. She has a good job. But you see how he feels for Sheridan. Mm. Child. We'll talk later, honey. Let me know in the comment section what y'all thought about all of this stuff. And I'll, I'll talk to you later.